Yo, what is up, everybody, and welcome back to another Man 25 team play gameplay. Dan Carpenter is coming for the big hit on the first play of the game, and Jerry is burned from a safety spot, getting a tackle on Reggie Bush. We are the Buffalo Bills, me and my teammates. As you see, that dude most gained the interception, second play. So we're, we're rolling right now. Our opponents are the Lions, so you already know what you got to deal with when you're playing against the Lions. The Dominic and Sue. Calvin Johnson, Matt Stafford, and you just hope and pray none of those guys, you know, demolish you. So, that's the game plan. We got um, EJ Manuel, CJ Spiller, a great um, back... Um, I was going to say backcourt duo, so used to NBA stuff. Backfield duo, and oh my god, we almost missed that field goal there. But, um, yeah, so we got to take advantage of that as well as Stevie Johnson, a few good speed threats on the Bills, and then on defense, you got Kiko Alonso, Jarius Bird, and... um. Yeah, those are basically the um, two big names, as well as um, Mario Williams, but no one's really going to be controlling Mario Williams. We're just going to hope he comes in and gets a sack or a few. So, um, this is actually one of the few games I have that is not Jaguars gameplay. Um, me and um, Ushbag and DC, our third teammate, we went back to playing with the Jaguars, which you guys will see eventually. But I do have one or two more games, well, yeah, I think one more game after this of... um. A non Jaguar team, but um, Matty Ice is coming back, man. I, I said Matty Ice was going to retire, but he just might make a comeback, man. He might just make a comeback. And you see, they're running the ball here, Reggie Bush, and here, third down seven, trying to get a big stop. And oh man, they almost get the first down with Bell, but Bell's not able to get the catch in traffic. Fourth down seven, they go for it, and they burn us over the top. Watch well, this head, it burned me over the top and get a touchdown, and that was just my bad. Not much else to it, so I'm going to try to make up for it on the kick return. Hitting the spin, hitting the juke, Marquise Goodwin putting on the speed. Not before finally being brought down, but oh, what a great return. Pretty much the midfield. But that was my bad on the, um, giving up that touchdown there for sure, because that's my deep blue, and kind of just fell asleep. And plus, um, I mentioned in the last team play video I did, the difference between 360 user ring stuff and the Xbox One. There's a noticeable difference that takes a little bit getting used to, but oh no, I did fall asleep in that play. I don't know, I was just like not moving. I see Scott Chandler get injured. Fourth down, we're gonna try to convert a fourth down of our own. But DC throws it to like, I don't even know. He didn't throw anywhere close to the sticks. And this is um, DC playing quarterback here. Usually it's either me or Ushbag who plays quarterback when we're playing, and DC will be like wide receiver. But um, DC was quarterback for this game, and um, let's just say it was. It was dicey. It was dicey. I'll try to be kind. It, it was dicey. You guys can judge for yourselves. It was as dicey as that tackle attempt I tried to make with Jerry's bird just now. And all of a sudden, the momentum flips to their side. Fourth and seven. We have them trapped. All of a sudden, we give up that touchdown, and now they're in the red zone trying to score. Well, pretty much near the red zone trying to score some more. First down, ten. Trying to make a defensive stand, and they go at Stephen Gilmore, who comes up with the interception. I don't know how the hell that dude got the ball over Calvin, but I'll take it. Big stand for us. Two minute warning about the hit. And, um, our offense was definitely, um, it was iffy, which is a big thing that we gave up. Well, I gave up that touchdown there early that, um, just seven points when our offense was not really looking too great. So, um, kind of really wish I would have paid more attention on that play, especially with the way this game is playing out now. As you see, um, DC throw to the flats there, gain a one, third down and five. Again, try to make something happen here. Oh man, tight throwing coverage, but Robert Woods able to come up with the catch. Two minute drill going on right now, and DC gets sacked on first down. I believe that is Sue coming through there. You got Sue and Fairley and Onsai coming at you. You know, I hope he survives in there. Third down and 23 coming up, calls a screen. I was like, let's call a wide receiver screen out of five wide. He called it out of, I don't even know what formation this is. It worked out all right, fourth and 13, and we are going to go for it because why the hell not? And we get it again. We convert another fourth down. This time, DC talks. Tossing it up to the tight end, bringing us a new set of downs. We're out of timeouts because I don't even know why the hell we're out of timeouts, but we're out of timeouts. Oh, yeah, DC used all of our timeouts like really early in the two minute warning. I'm not too sure why. Oh, man, speaking of why, T uh, TJ Graham there on why was pretty damn open. Next play, look at Goodwin. Why open, burning the top off the defense. Oh, man, but it's not in bounds. Both feet were not in, but then the boot comes in. The boot's like, yeah, both feet were in bounds. Put seven or six points in the board. I'll take it. I'll take it. I'm not even sure. It will close. If that boot review never happened, I would have been convinced that um, Goodwin didn't get both feet in bounds. But uh, I'll take it, man. So we go up. That was a big drive right for the end of the two-minute warning to grab the lead right back. Um, zero seconds left. Going to try to make sure they don't get a touchdown. They call a screenplay here, and they don't really get much. By the way, I am the defensive coordinator. Oh, I'm running sugar all game. You could probably tell that's me. Though, um, even when like Ushbag's coordinator, we just uh, simply agree that we're going to run sugar cover through bluff all game long. And, I mean, it, it works all right. It works all right. So, 
Um, yeah, so now we got the lead, and we get ball coming out of half. Gonna try to get something going here. Third down and 11, hitting the out route, and Robert Woods getting the first down. And we are living and dying on these third and fourth downs, man. Right now, we're living on them, because we're converting mainly to fourth downs, which is working good. As he tries to, um, Uchi tries to get something going with CJ Spiller. Next play, play action in the pocket, tossing it up. Oh, that was a dot from EJ Manuel. But I believe that's Robert Woods, who just could not come up with the reception. That was a beautiful bomb downfield. There you um, go. DC just took too long to pick a play. We get hit with the delay of game penalty. Bring him second down and 15, but it doesn't matter because Ushbet's getting the first down with Spiller nonetheless. Next play, handoff to Spiller. Trying to play a little bit conservative with that ground game, but then Spiller gets hurt. Hurt. Big loss for us. Fred Jackson still managed will back, but in Madden, he's only so fast. You know, now we're back to third down. The down we've been living on all game long, but we couldn't convert because EJ Manuel overthrows an out route, and now we're back to fourth down and try to convert another one here. And oh my goodness, squeeze that one in. Oh man, that was that was way too close. That dude with um Delmas had the bait as um we get the first down here. But, um, oh no, that pass got in somehow. So now we're at the red zone here. Definitely trying to get a touchdown. Trying to make this a two-possession game. Long drive going on. Tossing it back at the end zone. Trying to get a fade route there. But I think he bullet passed it. I don't know why. Third down and six. And that did not work well at all. So we're going to go for the field goal here. Take our point. Psyche calls fake field goal for God knows what reason. I was freaking out when this play happened. Because, like... We, you know, it took us so long just to get down the field. It took us so many third downs. We we're pretty damn lucky to eventually get into that red zone as, um, freaking Matt Stafford dots us up there. And we don't even get any points out of it. I was like, let's just force them to get a touchdown. Because the only touchdown they got so far was when I blew that coverage. Now, thankfully, Mar Mario Williams gets that sack. And next play, we get another sack. We got to rely on our defense here. Third down and 26. We should be able to get the stop. They call another screen pass here to Reggie Bush. Let's bottle it up, bottle it up. And we are there with Bird to bottle that when I'm bringing up fourth down and 16. Got to get this stop. You know they're going deep and they get it to Broyles. I don't know for the life of me. Like, on this 360, man, I swear, half the time they just don't give you a freaking jumping animation. It's frustrating. It's frustrating. Especially compared to the Xbox One. Especially compared to all the mud I've been playing. It's frustrating when I'm there and nothing happens. But I'll take the blame for it anyway. So now here we are, some third down in inches. We stopped the second down in inches. Then we stopped this, whatever the hell this play was on um, third down in inches. And they go for the game time field goal with two minutes left. Shocking decision here. From second down in inches, we stuff them twice. And they go for the game time field goal rather than trying to fourth the manageable. They're putting all the stock in their defense to get an understand. Which isn't the worst thing in the world. We've been moving it slow, but we did move the ball downfield in our last drive all the way to like the 13 yard line. So we're going to try to do that here. I showed this play twice by accident. Second down and 10 coming up. Minute 23 left. We only need a field goal to win this game. We have plenty of time, even though we just got cracked there. Third down and five. Manageable third down to convert. Probably going to go for it on fourth down. We don't get this third down. Rolling out the pocket. Throwing the deep CJ Spiller downfield to the 50 yard line. EJ Manuel staying in the pocket. Finding Spiller. Getting the first down. Next play, D. He throws it to Goodwin, and Goodwin gets hit, but not after moving the chains again to the 39-yard line. Then field goal range, and oh, EJ Mayo gets popped. 16 seconds left, calling a screen pass here, trying to get a few yards to make the field goal safer, and CJ Spiller's getting that and some more. Spiller to 10, to 5, and the end zone. I think he was trying to dive at the one-yard line, but he dove into the end zone instead. We have a touchdown lead, and now basically all we got to do is prevent the Hail Mary, and you're thinking, all right, let's come out and prevent or um, three-man deep. I came out of sugar. No Fs given, man. I was kind of frustrated the way this game was playing. I didn't really care. I was like, you know what? Screw it. Let's call Mount Sugar and let's see what happens. Oh, boy. Was that a bad decision? Because Calvin Johnson catches the ball, but it's not a touchdown. He caught it in the end zone, but by the time his feet landed, they were at the one-yard line. He had to go backward to retreat. His momentum led him that way, and then me and Ushback came finding what burden um, the dude he was using. And we, <laughs> we come out with the victory, man. Close as hell. Unnecessarily close in a way. But we come through with the victory. DC was able to come through with the clutch drive at the end of the game. Despite whatever happened, he made the clutch drive at the end. That's all that matters, baby. So, hope you guys leave a like on the video if you enjoyed that game. Subscribe for more Man 25 Online Games Ultimate Team and all that. And I will catch you guys next time.